welcome to my new YouTube channel. I am expecting identical twin boys. I decided to make a YouTube channel because the moment I found out I was having twins, I went straight to YouTube. I watched tons of mothers of multiples videos and got a lot of comfort from seeing I was normal, what they were experiencing was similar to what I was experiencing, but also just to see what's to come in the future. and be able to prepare a little bit better for my hospital bag and my nursery and the labor and delivery. So if I am able to give the same comfort that I have received from those videos to anybody out there, then I will feel like this channel is a huge success. This is part one of a two-part video that I'm gonna make. I will first, in this part, talk about finding out I'm pregnant with identical twins, and a couple of updates that have happened so far in my pregnancy. Then part two is gonna be a little bit more detailed about how I am doing, and how I'm looking, and how I'm feeling, and little updates on my plan for when I'm gonna stop working, and what we're going to maybe do with the nursery, but part two is gonna be just a little bit more personal. So if you're interested in watching that, make sure you follow up with part two of this video. Now let's actually get on to part one of finding out I was pregnant. So finding out I was pregnant in the first place, I think that's an important place to start because I found out really, really early on that I was pregnant. My husband and I decided to start trying. We both assumed it was gonna take a little bit of time, like we might have a couple of months to just enjoy the process, but no, <laughs> it happened right away. I was a compulsive test taker, so this was my first time trying to get pregnant, taking pregnancy tests, and I didn't really get the whole concept that you actually have to wait four weeks for it to show up on a pregnancy test. So I was taking them sometimes multiple times a day really early on when I, I shouldn't have been, but um, whatever, that's just how I did it. I've always had a predictable 28 day cycle. I was coming off of birth control though, which is obviously 28 days, and I assumed that I was gonna kind of go back to my regular rhythm of 28 days. So I was on day 22, and this is what I did. <laughs> I took a pregnancy test in the morning, like you do, like first morning pee, and did that, no line, then lunchtime came and I took another one. I got one of those multi hundred pack test boxes because I wanted to be able to take a test whenever I wanted to and took one at lunchtime. It was still negative. Obviously that's no surprise at all. It would still be negative. And then I took one at nighttime at 1030 and this was definitely not first morning anymore. But I decided to take one at night and I saw a little line. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert that picture here so you can see what I was looking at. So if you see what I saw, I was pretty sure I saw a little line there. And I called my husband into the bathroom. He was a little bit skeptical. He was like, I kinda see it, but he was also half asleep. My plan for telling my parents that I was pregnant involved my sister and her baby. She knew I was trying to get pregnant and I decided to FaceTime her at like 11 o'clock at night because she knew I was trying to get pregnant. She knew she wanted to be involved in the reveal process. So I wanted to see if she also saw this line. I called her and after much deliberation, she and her husband agreed that they saw a little faint line. Just to confirm, I went ahead and I took a digital test the next morning and I saw this. It said a big fat yes. I was 
blown away because this was pretty much a week before I missed my period. And that was pretty early to be finding out that I was pregnant. I just chalked it up to the fact that I just stopped birth control and maybe I was ovulating sooner than I would have in a normal cycle because my body was getting back to normal. I had read somewhere that if it shows up early on a pregnancy test that maybe you're having twins because your HCG levels are super high, but I knew that they didn't run in my family, so I never even thought that twins were a possibility whatsoever for me. So I didn't think that at all. So we had to wait until eight weeks to actually have an appointment with our doctor and I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know if she was going to do an ultrasound or not or if she would just check me out to see that everything was going fine. But to our surprise she came in and she did a little small Doppler ultrasound and it was really special because we finally got to see the baby. And the doctor specifically said, I just want to make sure there's only one. And she confirmed that there was one heartbeat and one baby. And I'm going to insert our ultrasound that we had here so that you can see what I saw and what the doctor saw as one baby. And then I'm going to show it to you again and point out some specific details about this ultrasound. So, like the doctor said, it looks great, there's just one heartbeat. And so I thought, okay, wonderful. So after we saw the little ultrasound with the little baby, my husband and I were extremely emotional because this was the real confirmation that we were pregnant and we were having a baby because I don't know why, but I was a compulsive test taker even after I found out I was pregnant on multiple different pregnancy tests. I'm gonna, I'll show you the picture of the serial pregnancy test that I took and the progression. I just wanted to make absolutely sure, was I really pregnant? I don't know, but I, you'll see, I took a lot. But this ultrasound really did confirm for me that I was indeed pregnant. But knowing what I know now, I decided the other day to look back at that ultrasound and see if I could see both of my babies because there are two and she only saw one and I can see both of them. I want to see if you can also notice both babies. I'm going to put arrows pointing to what I saw as the second baby and I wonder if you'll see the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like two babies to me, but we didn't know that at that point. So we had to wait four weeks for our 12 week ultrasound, the big time ultrasound. And this is the day that we found out we were pregnant with identical twins. So my mom, my husband and I, we all went in for the ultrasound together. I laid down on the table. The ultrasound technician wasted no time. She got right to the ultrasound. And as soon as she started feeling around and looking around, she started asking pretty alarming questions. She asked, have you ever had an ultrasound before? And I said, well, I had a little one. Well, did the doctor tell you anything? Uh, the doctor said there was a heartbeat and everything was fine. My mind is racing. What the heck is wrong with this baby? Why are you asking me all these questions? Meanwhile, I'm looking up at the screen and I am seeing two circular blobs. I don't know what to make of it. Maybe it's a head, maybe it's a stomach, maybe it's not even a baby. I don't know what I was looking at. And she stops and she looks at all of us and she says, I've got news for you. You're having twins. <laughs> what? And that is when the screaming and the celebrating began. My mom and I screamed. My husband froze. The ultrasound technician said, Shush. 
we have other patients here. I was like, lady, I just found out I'm pregnant with twins. I think the other people might understand if they hear me scream and they know why. This is the biggest news I've ever gotten in my life. So it was an overwhelming sense of excitement, joy, concern, because I hope they're okay. I had no idea I was pregnant with twins. I hope everything's okay. But everything looked perfect on the ultrasound and they were doing great. When we thought it was only one kid, we were going to wait until I delivered to find out the gender of the baby. But my sister did convince me that now that it's two, I'm really gonna need to prepare, be totally ready, have all the clothes washed, decorating done, everything in place, because once the babies get here, it's gonna be full steam ahead and no time for any um, extra preparation. We did decide we wanted to find out the gender. We waited until 16 weeks. We went in for the ultrasound and I was so nervous, hoping everything was okay. I was sure it was, but I, I was just worried, you know? You can't see them and so is everything okay in there? I don't know. The results of the ultrasound looked great. Their heartbeats were strong and good. One weighs seven ounces, the other weighs six ounces. The doctor came in and had very little to say other than they look great. I was really relieved to find out that they were perfect, everything was going great, they were moving a lot, and then came the exciting gender reveal. Just a little bit of background, how we figured out the gender of the babies. My husband and I really love sweets big time, but especially ice cream. And I especially love sprinkles. So much so that our wedding cake was a sprinkle wedding cake. And my sister planned our party so that we would have a big bowl of ice cream and the color of the sprinkles that we poured on the ice cream would tell us the gender of the babies. Side note, it makes me really sad. Being pregnant, I don't like sprinkles anymore. They were my favorite thing ever. That's one of the weirdest pregnancy symptoms I'm having is being averted to something that is such a big part of my personality. It makes me really sad. Like, yes, I don't eat as much ice cream anymore, which I know is great, but also, who am I? Because I feel like my soul is made up of sprinkles and to not like them is very sad. But anyway, this is our gender reveal. identical twin boys. So did I have a sense if they were boys or girls? When I was newly pregnant and I thought it was just one, I had no sense. I was having a lot of girl dreams, but I know it was because I was really hoping for a girl because I love all the girl stuff that comes along with babies and clothes and tea parties and all the fun stuff with girls. And I also was spending a lot of time with my niece and just had a lot of girl energy going on. So I know my dreams were influenced by all of that. It didn't give me a strong sense. I was just having a lot of girl dreams. But I'll tell you what, the moment I found out they were twins is when I had a sense. I had an overwhelming sense the moment she told us that they were twins. I thought, oh my gosh, my twin boys, <laughs> my boys. And then I started really loving them as boys and picturing my life with boys because that's all I could really see. A lot of people were saying, oh, I think you're having girls. Your hips are so wide, your rear end is so big. I think they're girls. And that kind of would throw me off because I would think, oh my gosh, what if they're right? My parents were leaning more towards girls. That threw me off. But whenever I would really think long and hard about it and just feel what they were, I could not see anything other than boys. So when we found that out, it was the best news we could have ever gotten because it was my first mother's intuition about the babies and it was right. We couldn't have been happier. 
that's it for part one of this video, finding out I'm pregnant, finding out I'm pregnant with twins. And if you are interested in seeing a little bit more about how things are going with the pregnancy so far, go ahead and watch part two of this video. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're interested in following along with this pregnancy. I'm gonna be doing a lot of updates, how I'm doing, what's going on in our life, how the babies are doing. And if you're at all interested in watching that, whether you're pregnant or not, um, I have a feeling our life's gonna be pretty eventful and interesting. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.